very much so. Um, they, they've lost total distrust with the government. They feel disillusioned of not being supported. And if you think about it, the, 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 the economy is not very vibrant at the moment. You have hyperinflation. Infl you have a lot of farmers out there where their crops um, have dried up because of the droughts. And the Islamic clerics have actually come to their aid. They've supported in many, many ways. They've supported one with aid, uh, supported financially, and supported with logistics in assisting a lot of these families. Okay, my last question to you. Uh, the latest effort is uh, Mr. Ould Abdullah, who's a Mauritarian, who is trying to bring representatives of Somalia's government and opposition groups together at a meeting in Djibouti on May 10th. Any hopes from that effort? Well, <laughs> there's a possibility that so there may be something that may come out of it. But the principle behind it is that um, both sides have, have been in this conflict for some time. Um, the, the, clearly, the, 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 the Islamic um, um, freedom fighters ha have actually had a, a st stole a march on this in the fact that, the fact that they, they've been able to claim part of the country and, and control it for some time. Um, but again, the American-led government um, of Somalia um, needs to, to show that they, they are honest brokers, they, 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 they're actually there not for other intentions or through the, the American intentions of controlling that land, but in the interest of the people themselves. So as to what sort of conclusions we will draw from, from these round of talks, uh, I'm afraid I, I'm, a, I'm a bit skeptical, um, because, simply because we, we need honest brokerage and we're not getting that at this junction. Okay, Messiah Johnson, African expert over in London, joining us. Thank you so much for your details on the latest coming out of Somalia.